Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have this HP ProBook 450 G9 laptop. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add or upgrade the storage that you have in here and what are the combination of the storage that you can have. I see many people that call the HP support line and they always tell them no maximum that you can go is 500 gig or one terabyte of storage and stuff like that. That's not true. We have upgraded this laptop up to four terabyte storage with no problem, storage SSDs, right? So just remember, if you upgrade the main storage in here, you're not gonna have any operating system in it. So that means you have to install your Windows freshly installed of your USB drive. I made a short video how you create, you can create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. And I made another video how to install Windows on your HP laptop. It takes literally about five to 10 minutes and few Windows updates and you're ready to go with all the drivers installed. All right, with all that said, let's get into it. First thing, back up your file. And if you wanna upgrade the main storage, power the off, make sure you power off completely the laptop. You wanna face it upside down and you wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFix screwdriver set kit. These are one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really tough to steel and it will last you many years. We're gonna use a Phillips number zero. If you have purchased the pro set of this tool set, you will get some opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Right, with these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, there's like a five screws, three at the back row and two in the front. Two in the front are short screws and they can be removed entirely and completely. The screws at the back, they have a C lock on them. So that means you just have to twist them and it will, it will not come out, but it will separate the bottom case from the palm rest. I will do this and you guys can see. As soon as I start unscrewing the back screws, uh, you're gonna see a separation between the bottom cover and the palm rest. You see that one right there? And that's after a few turns, I feel like uh, the screw is already loosened up. That's when I stop. And we're gonna do that again for the mid one and for the other side. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you wanna support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. All right, now what we're we gonna do, we're gonna grab this opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the, this opening right there. I'm gonna hold it so I can see. And we're gonna stick it right in between the gap and we're gonna twist it like this. And we're gonna work our stuff to the side, to the front corner, and like that. Now you're gonna feel this tension that is not coming out, but you wanna grab it from the side, yank it up slowly like this, up and down, up and down and it will release the clips that are holding it from the battery because there's a three, four, five clips in the middle here. So you put it from one side up and it will release the clips right in here. One, two, three, four clips. So that's what you wanna do. Somebody already dropped this laptop so there's a dent right in the corner. All right, now we can put that one to one side and we can look at the under the hood. All right, right away I can see that there is no possibility for me to add any 2.5 inch mechanical or SSD storage in here. There is absolutely no space to be fitted inside. So that's out of the questions. That answers that question that you cannot add any hard drives 2.5 inch. Now, regarding the M.2 storage, there's a two M.2 PCI 4 and PCI 3. One right in here, this is the main M.2 NVMe right here. And there's a second one right in here. But this one, it's a short one. It only comes up to here. You can't pull a, uh, a big one, let me see. I recommend you guys to grab the Samsung 980 Pro up to two terabyte in here and a two terabyte or one terabyte up here if you want, the way you wish. All right, so I have one open one right here and another Kingston NVMe. So 
let's say if I want to put this one right in here, I can put it in 10 degree down there, but it will sit here and there is no screw hole. This is screw hole is like a crooked because for the, for the bottom case, but they don't give you any screw for this one in here, but there's no problem in here. You can grab a double sided uh, foam tape and put it right in here on the, on top of this battery. And then you can bring it down, put it and let it drop there and it's going to hold it in place and it's not going to go anywhere. You can put a two terabyte in here, a two terabyte right in here. To remove the main storage, there's one screw right in here holding it. So remove this screw at the back, tiny one, and then you can grab this M.2 that shifts up like that and you can pull it backward. There you go. Once you get the new one, make sure the notch on the M.2 here matches the notch right on the jack. So you want to bring it down in 15, 20 degree inside the jack, push it down towards the bottom and put the single screw right on the storage at the back. There you go. To do this process, you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid and to do it, just pull this jack right here, put your fingers and pull it backward. But they don't do it because if you pull it backward and you try to put a crooked inside, you can make it short, so be safe, don't do that. Just put the you know, hard drives in. So again, this one with a double-sided tape, on the other side, it will stay there. You don't need to put a screw in there, that's fine. That's for a demonstration, you can remove it. And once you got the new storage in here, you can format it, install the new OS. You can put a two terabyte, two terabyte, and you're ready to go. And that should be all for down here. Now to go backward, grab the bottom case. Now once you put the bottom case on top, you want to push down in the middle. Make sure those triggers in the middle grab the battery. I'm working on a very super flat table, so that's why I can push straight on it. Now, if you see any gap opening just like this on the side, you can open up the laptop so you don't squeeze the screen. You can squeeze the palm rest. So you can bring it here and really hard and squeeze it and it will go to its place. So any gap that you see, just squeeze them really hard and it will go eventually to its place. From uh, this one at the back side, you just want to first screw it down before you do anything else. So screw it down and push it down so it clicks in. Again, I hope you guys like this video and then it helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. Or I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you can upgrade the storage for your HP ProBook 450 G9 laptop.